What's up, YouTube? It's Kasa. I'm back with another MB 2K21 My Team video. Today, I'm going to be doing a gameplay on this new Dark Matter Greg Odin Hyperdrive card. Now, this card out is looking crazy. I really like it. It reminds me of Geometry Dash, if y'all know what that game was on iPhone, man. That was a hit back in the day, but 99 overall offense, defense. We use a Dark Matter. 7 foot tall, 62 Hall of Fame badges, 7 gold. I'm not going to read off all of them, but he is a great shooter. All around card. I already know that. And he he does have, I'm going to read the best badges, you know, postman technician, drop stepper, real good post badges, dimer is great, pickpocket, rim protector, and pick dodger, clamps, defensive leader, <coughs> he also has rebound chaser, deep hooks, giant slayer, pro touch, showtime, slithery finisher, downhill, quick first step on the center is a really good, unpluckable. I mean, this guy has a lot of badges, almost as many as, like, uh, Isaiah Thomas, and it's crazy because he's a center, has, like, these dribbling badges, dead eye, these shooting badges, flexible release. He does have range extender as well, brick wall, and flashy passer handles for days, stop and go, and tight handles on gold. Look at his attributes now. You're going to realize why this makes sense because he has a 95 driver layup, 98 post game. It's amazing. 89 three-point shot. It's going to go up to 90. 92 with my coach, I believe, so that's going to be headable. 95 mid-range shot, 95 standing dunk, 95 driving dunk, 86 ball handle, so you can definitely speed boost. You can pass okay. His IQ is not that good, but his accuracy is solid. His defense is great. Uh, rebounding is almost perfect. His speed is amazing for a center. 91 speed ball is really good, so I'm definitely going to be able to, you know, take the ball up to the court with him and make some moves and beat other centers off the dribble so this card is going to be a fun card to play with and yeah we're going to get into a gameplay i'll see y'all then all right guys now we're finally into the game going up against uh okay team i can definitely see myself winning though diamond john moran which is a throwback card from many seasons ago kareem abdul jabbar and obi Toppin. some solid cards but greg Oden definitely got the upper hand he is the only dark matter when you compare them to his team so yeah, this should be easy. If we go ahead and lose this, then that'll say a lot. But Damian Lillard, that's the Space Jam version of the card. I do have the Invincible, but I was like, you know, might as well use the Space Jam for fun. That's because it looks different. And he did make a really solid play right there. I got to give him that. But we're about to see something crazy. Here we go. Greg Oden, give him the ball. And I already know this card is a bucket. He is a dark matter. And his stats are crazy. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar just doesn't look like he could stick him. He didn't get the block right there, which is good. So we got one bucket so far. Let's see. Can I give him pressure with the double? I can, man. That's a real good solid double. Forced the double. I mean, forced the turnover. Greg Oden, man. Look at that speed. I don't think he can. St oh, my gosh. He cannot, man. A call like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar from a few seasons ago. No way he's going to guard. Uh, speed boosting center with quick first step with 91 speed with ball. Man, this is just a. It's just like a. A matchup made in hell, man. You don't want to play that, but he could maybe have a chance if he guard him with Obi Toppin, but he's going to have to switch, and I don't think he'll be able to do that. We're going to try to get some threes, though. I'm not going to abuse his speed all game. We're going to, you know, take a look at how well he can shoot. Ooh, that was a very bad release. That's on me. That's on me, but we'll try again, and all right, all right. All right. One thing I got to say about this Greg Golden, I'm not a fan of his form. It's a little slow. It's a little slow, so I feel like he can get blocked real easily on those snatchbacks because you can predict his shot so well. Cards with those fast jump shots, like you hit a crossover and it's just too late. You're already greening, you know? But we're going to give another try. Uh, oh, I did not think he was going to make that because I didn't green that in time or well, but he does have a flexible release and a high three-point rating good block odin oh my god hit him with the step back oh yeah he definitely closed out on that i thought pager could grab that but he didn't man seven to six we're gonna go ahead and speed this game up because i'm not looking forward to playing a long game and with the behind the back Ooh, speed boost spinning the post what a move man his post moves are super smooth like this card is definitely gonna be a pulse beast definitely a paint beast and i just want to see him get more boards to be honest me for some misses only has one rebound so far 
I didn't shoot that. Oh yeah, that's a snag. How did Page get that? See, that's why I want to see him get some boards. I'm going up right his chest. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I the OB topping was there. I don't know why John Morant got in the way when the when his center was right there. Could have saved him. Uh, but I commend him for that though. That was brave. He got posterized though. And I got he got his dunk right back. Oh, I broke his ankles. Oh, I missed though. I really broke his ankles. I saw that. I hope you all saw that. Bullet. Ah, uh, he didn't fall for that. Pass it, pass it. There we go. He's falling for the bait right now. I'm going right up. Red Golden's just a really good finisher, man. Like, finishing at the rim, he ain't really going to miss like that, man. He gets those dunks in. It's hard to block him like that because he does have real good strength and he's seven feet. But when it comes to those shots, I feel like he's not that consistent. In a 5v5 wide open, I'll be more confident, but not in triple threat. Triple threat, I feel like they kind of rig some of those jump shots. Like, after you make one or two even, it's hard to make that third in a row. That's your wide open. Like, you really got to time it well. Sometimes they just wanted you to miss. I don't know if y'all feel the same way, but it really be like that. Like right there, wide open. Look at that. A miss? That's wide open. I know I didn't time it perfectly, but come on. Come on. That's a super wide open bonus, but it's all good. Look at him hitting those threes. I'll give him that, though. 13 to 11. All right. <clears throat> I see, oh, I don't want to shoot that. He almost closed out in time, but I'm going to, ooh. He really pulled that way too far back. He tried to get too fancy with the dunk. Let me get out of your way, sir. Oh, my gosh. Look at that speed, man. Even if you don't use this card on a 1v1 situation, you're always going to catch someone off guard with that speed, man. It's just overpowered. Like, I don't, I don't know what else to say. Good board. Get off me. Oh my god, that speed, man. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and his vert is insane. He reminds me of Shaq right now. He's looking like Shaq. Greg Oden, the, the, the probably one of the biggest busts in the NBA history, is looking like like Shaquille O'Neal. Oh my god, that crossover is crazy. Oh my gosh, man. I got to throw a shoe on him, put some ball, make his ball handling better, make his speed with ball higher, because this is insane. I want to end it with a three, with a nice, cr a nice crossover move, because I already know he could finish. Oh yeah, I'm wide open here. Come on, knock it down. Oh my God, man, that's gonna be it for this gameplay. Thanks for watching. It was constant. If you like this gameplay and you like this card, I would suggest you go pick him up because it looks just as much fun, to, like to play with as you guys see. So that's gonna be it for this. Thanks for watching. Peace.